each year, the world's best bouldering athletes are invited to a stellar season finale, the Adidas Rock Stars. Bouldering, which is climbing without a rope over a crash pad, is a fast-growing sport and set to make its Olympic debut in 2020. The invited top athletes demonstrate their impressive gravity-defying skills accompanied by live music in front of an enthusiastic audience. For them, this event is also very special. The atmosphere at Adidas Rockstars is amazing. I guess the feeling of the whole competition. It's not just, you know, calling it something different. It actually is something different and unique and really cool. We get treated really well here. The crowd is so close. The energy of the competitors, the stellar setting and the climbing, all of the live music. Music that matches your performance, your boulder moves, it can't get better than this. The International Master Event is hosted in Germany at Stuttgart's Porsche Arena. It takes 10 days to transform the modern multi-purpose hall into a climbing venue. A 20-man team erects a 40-meter wide bouldering wall that was specifically created for this competition. A giant three-dimensional puzzle that consists of over 10,000 pieces. Ladies and gentlemen, we're proud to present you the top 12... It's 8.15 in the evening, time for the finals. The Porsche Arena is packed to the rafters. Of the 80 invited athletes from 25 different countries, only the six best men and women made it to the final. This is the limelight moment they've all been waiting for. The finalists are introduced to the crowd. Nearly 4,000 enthusiastic climbing fans cheer on the athletes like rock stars. These 12 will battle it out for the prestigious title. From Japan, 2014 Youth World Champion Aya Inoue. From Great Britain, two-time overall World Cup Champion Shauna Coxie. From the US, World Championship Runner-Up 2014 and Adidas Rockstar 2012, Alex Puccio. From Japan, the 2016 World Championship and World Cup Runner-Up, Miho Nonaka. From Slovenia, lead World Champion and defending Adidas Rockstar, Janja Gonbret and four-time overall World Cup winner and Adidas Rockstar 2014, Akio Noguchi from Japan. World champion and Adidas Rockstar 2016, Tomoa Narasaki from Japan. Also from Japan, wildcard winner of Adidas Rockstars Tokyo, Makoto Yamauchi. Two-time overall World Cup champion, Yongwon Chan from Korea. From Russia, two-time world champion and Adidas Rockstar 2011, Dmitry Sharafutinov. Overall World Cup runner-up 2014, Kokoro Fuji from Japan, and the bronze medalist of the Overall World Cup 2016 and 17, Alexei Rubtsov from Russia. The finalists first have to climb two boulders. The top three advance to the next round to compete on a third boulder problem for the Super Final. We start with the women. Except for Aya Onoe, they've all reached an Adidas Rockstars final before. A boulder problem usually consists of six to eight climbing moves. The first boulder in the women's final requires accuracy and determination. 21-year-old Aya Anoe has to start. She has a window of four minutes plus to solve the problem in the fewest attempts possible, meaning she may enter with the last second and continue her climb until she tops or falls. She grabs the bonus hold that is marked with yellow tape at her first try. That's an advantage. Now she gets to the crux, a jump with a crossover catch, which unfortunately she cannot stick. No top for Anoa on the first boulder. 24-year-old Shauna Coxie has been world number one for the past two years, but today she cannot hold the small yellow corner sloper, and to the surprise of the crowd, she doesn't solve the problem. At 28 years of age, Alex Puccio is one of the oldest finalists. She brings along the determination and accuracy the root setters wanted to test with this boulder problem. The American sticks the crux move on her first attempt and even completes the route on her first try, a so-called flash. The spectators love it. Miho Nonaka ranks among the most flexible climbers in the World Cup. She masters the jump with a crossover catch to the yellow sloper on the second attempt. The top out afterwards is daily routine for the 20-year-old from Japan.
Yanya Gonbret is the youngest finalist and the defending champion, hence a crowd favorite. The 18-year-old Slovenian is a movement talent and always surprises the root setters with alternative solutions. This time too, because she proves that you can also make a static move to the yellow corner sloper. The jump is not as forcing as intended. Yanya also gets a flash, a top on the first attempt. <music> 28-year-old Akio Noguchi won Adidas Rockstars in 2014. As four-time overall World Cup winner, she can draw on a plentiful repertoire of moves. A hesitant moment, but she also chooses a static approach and sticks the sloping yellow hold without difficulty. Akio Noguchi is the third woman to flash the first boulder. The crowd cheers on the Japanese woman who has maintained her world-class ranking for over a decade. Boulder number two is a real body tension problem, and it will become apparent that there is more than one solution to a boulder problem depending on the personal strengths of a climber. More than any other climber in this field, Alex Puccio has solved the hardest boulder problems on the rock. She spent the week before the event at the Swiss outdoor bouldering mecca Magic Wood, so she's in top shape. And she proves that with this heel hook on the volcano hole, which is extremely difficult at this inclination. A flash on the second boulder, the American takes the lead. Yanya Gonbret is widely regarded as the best present-day climber. She grew up with these modern three-dimensional boulders and tricky volumes. Her intuition is unique, her timing sensational. This is her fourth attempt. She doesn't use a heel hook like Puccio, but opts for a double dino, and she sticks the jump thanks to her flexibility. Different approach, but Yanya Gonbret also tops boulder number two. Here, the direct comparison. Climbing experience meets climbing talent. Heel hook versus dino. Garnbrett absorbs the momentum with her legs, while her upper body remains straight, which is why she can hold on. Miho Nonaka finds a third solution. She reaches the volume and the top statically without a jump, but with a heel hook in the lower volcano hold. Nonaka also needs four attempts for her second top. Akio Noguchi shares Yanya Gonbret's approach of a double dino, but keeps falling and does not complete the second boulder. Hence, the results are clear. Alex Puccio, Yanya Gonbret, and Miho Nonaka advance to the next round, while Akio Noguchi, Shauna Coxie, and Aya Onoe bow out. As the third-ranked athlete, Miho Nonaka has to start first on boulder number three. This selective problem requires even more accuracy than the first one because the green holds are trappy. The root setters always try to be a step ahead of the climbers. Many develop their own holds and volumes. Climbing expert Udo Neumann explains the complexity of modern holds. What came into the mix in the past two years are the so-called dual texture holds. You can see here that the hold is very slippery and there's only a tiny coarse area. That means, in addition to the requirement of playing various directions of forces off against each other, there is also a demand for accuracy. And this very dual texture hold is Nonaka's undoing. She slips off and lands on her face. After a three-meter fall, that hurts. But giving up is not an option for this world-class athlete. In her next attempt, the silver medalist from the 2016 World Championship sticks the move. <laughs> Miho Nonaka uses a heel hook to change her position so that she can stick the bonus hold, and she succeeds. However, the top hold that is roughly one meter above her head is out of reach from that position, and her time is up. Yanya Garnbrett also needs several attempts to identify the core spots on the irregular coated holds, but on the fifth try, she finally holds on to the wall. The root setters are curious how she will solve the problem. Garnbrett uses a heel hook to reach the top hold. With that move, the defending champion secures her spot in the super final. Teammate Yerne Kruder is stoked.
Alex Puccio starts her sixth attempt on boulder number three. There's only a little time left. The American already reached the bonus in her fourth try, and this time she also masters the crux. Just like Yanya Gonbret, Alex Puccio uses a heel hook to get to the top, and she controls the hold. That means the 28-year-old will compete in her third Adidas Rockstars Super Final following 2011 and 12. Puccio and Garnbrett will battle it out for the title while Miho Nonaka ends up in third place like the year before. The men's category also sees three Japanese among the finalists. Japan is currently the strongest climbing nation in the world. And the men's boulder one should suit the Japanese athletes because it's all about dynamics and visualization. To visualize a cycle of movements, to virtually anticipate the movements is one of the biggest strengths of reigning world champion Tomoa Narasaki. Therefore, he thoroughly inspects the route before starting his first attempt. The mandatory entry holds and steps are marked with orange tape. And Narasaki masters the crux, a double jump to the yellow volumes immediately. He climbs in a different league, this man. Another dynamic move to the top and flash for the 21-year-old Japanese man. The spectators are thrilled. Overall World Cup winner 2015 and 17, Yong Won Chon from Korea has problems with this dino sequence to the surprise of the root setters. Chon already fell five times. On his sixth attempt, he can finally hold on. The last few moves to the top are business as usual for the 21-year-old. In direct comparison with Narasaki, you can see that Chon is mentally behind the movement because he doesn't take his momentum into account. That's why he needs several tries before he sticks the jump. The difference becomes even more apparent if you compare Narasaki with Dmitry Sharifutinov from Russia, who only thinks up to the first volume and has to struggle really hard to absorb the momentum and hold onto the wall. But as the oldest and most experienced climber in this final round, he also finds a solution for the crux. The crowd cheers for the double world champion, and Sharifutinov pays them back with a top on his third attempt. After his first attempt, 24-year-old Kokoro Fuji also understands the cycle of movements this dynamic boulder requires. The Japanese climber, who is competing in the Adidas Rockstars final for the first time, manages to top the boulder on his second try. That increases his chance to advance to the next round. Makoto Yamauchi won a wild card at the national Adidas Rockstars event in Tokyo. Nobody expected to see him in the final. Top on the third attempt. The 22-year-old impresses the audience in Stuttgart. Alexei Rupsov has been competing at a world-class level for over a decade. The 29-year-old Russian has a master in sports science and is a self-coached climber. However, this boulder doesn't suit him. Boulder number two requires a quick change from high tension to light-footedness. Unlike his colleagues, Tomoa Narasaki is always reading a boulder problem from top to bottom, considering with which hand he wants to reach for the top hold and then working his way down to the entry. Narasaki understands instantly that he must stabilize the tiny bonus hold with a toe hook on the left volume, to the delight of the root setters who created the move. However, this coordination move is not as easy as it may seem. The defending champion needs three attempts to stick the bonus hold. Then he shows his class by switching toe hooks, which is extremely difficult as this is the lock position that stabilizes him. Now the 21-year-old shifts back to dynamics, but he slips off. On his fourth attempt, he knows the solution. Narasaki switches even faster between the left and the right toe hook, and this time he tops the boulder, holding his swinging body with just three fingers. He definitely deserves the applause.
Yongwon Chun, who is competing in his fourth consecutive Adidas Rockstars final, also finds the solution and stabilizes the bonus hold with a toe hook on the third attempt. Then he follows a powerful campus approach with dangling legs. He brachiates to the top, an impressive demonstration that his forearms are well trained. Young Wan Chan soaks up the atmosphere in the Porsche arena and enjoys being applauded. At 30 years of age, Dmitry Sharafutinov is the oldest and most experienced climber in this round. He can read the route and sticks the bonus with a toe hook on the first try. But then he doesn't know what to do with his right foot. It doesn't even occur to him that he could simply switch feet. Sharafutinov has incredible finger strength. He learned climbing at a time when control mattered the most. But with the modern three-dimensional boulder problems of today, it's too time-consuming. Hence, he cannot solve this problem. Kokoro Fuji has already tried the route four times. Now he's brushing holds to remove the chalk and improve the friction. The Japanese man figured out the toe hook to stabilize the bonus hold and the foot chain. Like Narasaki, he opts for a dynamic approach. On his fifth attempt, he can finally stick the blue top hold, one step closer to the superfinal. Fuji seems very happy. Alexei Rupsov is one top down, but he wants to show his skill. This is his fourth try, and he also tops this boulder. The result after two boulders is clear. Tomoa Narasaki, Kokoro Fuji, and Yongwon Chan will compete for the title. Dmitry Sharafutinov, Makoto Yamauchi, and Alexei Rupsov bow out. We move on to boulder number three. Yongwon Chan has to start first. The athletes have to get in backwards while pressing hard above their head to stay on the wall. A very modern boulder and an impressive demonstration of three-dimensional climbing. <music> Yang Wan Chan masters the essential crux move straight away. That should give him an additional adrenaline boost. Now he must avoid making any mistakes. The crowd is behind the likable Korean. And Yang Wan Chan sticks to his guns and tops on the first attempt. With this flash, the two-time overall World Cup champion has set the marker for the Super Final. Something Kokoro Fuji is very well aware of. Therefore, he's brushing the holds before starting his first attempt. It's usually the shorter athletes who are believed to have a disadvantage due to their height. However, on this boulder, where you have to press yourself in between the volumes, it's a disadvantage to be tall. Kokoro Fuji, too, feels the effects. He cannot handle this cycle of movements. Tamoa Narasaki's training schedule also includes yoga, which could help him with this press boulder. The reigning world champion slowly inches his way forward to the crux. He doesn't want to waste any attempt because every new entry costs a lot of energy. The 21-year-old Japanese climber masters the rotation move perfectly. Now nothing should be in the way of his second super final. The spectators in the Porsche arena cheer on the defending champion. And they are not disappointed. With powerful moves, he works his way up to the top out. After boulder number one, Tomoa Narasaki can also flash the third boulder. He seems relieved. So, Young Wan Chan and Tomoa Narasaki will compete in the Super Final. But first, the women face each other on the so-called Super Boulder. 
Adidas Rockstar 2016 Janja Garnbrett from Slovenia is up against the Adidas Rockstar 2012 Alex Puccio from the USA. Who will hit the buzzer first? It's almost a generational battle. These two are 10 years apart in age. Here we go. Alex Puccio has no time to waste and instantly enters the boulder, but she falls just like Janja Garnbrit. The intoxicating live band Orange But Green and the crowd in the arena are getting going. Thirty seconds are up. Again and again they slip off that same hold. The root setters are getting nervous. Did they set it too hard? After a short breather, Puccio and Garnbrett start another attempt. And the crowd are out of their seats. And this time the American sticks the yellow hold in the middle and controls it with one of her well-proven heel hooks. As an experienced rock climber, Puccio can draw from an extensive movement repertoire, which also helps her on the following moves. Garnbrett starts a new try, but Puccio is almost at the top. If she doesn't slip or fall, she will hit the buzzer first. And she does it. Alex Puccio claims her second Adidas Rockstars title after 2012. Yanya and I were falling a lot, then we took our time and then deciding to brush the hold, take a breath, needed a rest. Um, and then once I stuck that hold up in the middle, uh, just not messing up the top was the key. So yeah, I was super excited and they're really fun climbs and I mean a fun event. I was really happy to get there. So it was also a super con uh, coordinated, but uh, I have a uh, little problems in my wrist and it was not so comfortable for my wrist, but yeah, it was perfect. While the ranks for the women have been determined, the tension is mounting backstage. <laughs> European beatbox champion Robeat prepares the crowd for the men's super final. The men's super bowl of final. Yon Bon Chon Korea! The overall World Cup champion 2017, Yong Won Shan from Korea, up against the overall World Cup champion 2016, Tamoa Narasaki from Japan. A quick fist bump, sportsmanship at its best, and you can see how much they like and respect each other but neither man will give an inch. Narasaki is almost at the top. He takes the momentum of his jump into the mantle. This is unbelievable. He only needs 16 seconds to sprint to the buzzer. Standing ovation for Tomoa Narasaki. The Japanese ninja claims his second Adidas Rockstar title in a row. You can see how he carries the momentum directly into the mantle on this volume. He knows the motion sequence by heart. On this kind of a boulder, Tomoa Narasaki is unbeatable. Young Wan Chan is the first to congratulate the reigning Adidas rock star, while the climbing fans in the Porsche arena cheer for both of their heroes. Although he already experienced this overwhelming crowd reaction last year, Tomoa Narasaki is clearly moved. Tomoa is like uh, always uh, like his style, yeah. When I, he always uh, has to burden, yeah, very like a ninja, ninja style, and then, and then every time best, I need more hard training for the next season, so maybe uh, I will hit the Buja next, next year, for sure. Being able to climb so fast in the Super Final gives me a lot of confidence in my skills. So Tomoa Narasaki is triumphant at Adidas Rockstars for the second time following 2016. Young Wan Chan places second and Kokoro Fuji third. <laughs> <laughs> 
At the awards ceremony, the top three men and women are in the spotlight one more time. A magical moment for our champions. To experience this unique atmosphere at Stuttgart's Porsche Arena, bouldering athletes around the world will once again hope to receive an invitation to Adidas Rockstars next year. You need a kick, you need a rock to rock and roll. Climb up, climb up, don't you get down. Get up that rock, those 40 feet to reach the top. Rock it up, rock it up, in your vertical direction, we want finger rubber. 